What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 3 here on Aviator Games, and a lot has happened since the last episode. Let me show you guys quickly what has happened in our crazy life between the last episode. Well, basically, uh, Julia has aged to a teenager, and uh, she's a bit of a handful. You can see her through there. Yep. She's a handful, <laughs> but she's really good at the guitar, you guys. Let me show you this. She's already got four level on the guitar. Her her lifetime wish is to be a rock star, so obviously she's working hard towards that as a teenager. She's got the image going for her. She's really uh, risque. So that's Julia, and she just invited a boy over, a boy from her school. It's a Saturday. They're going to have a date day. Oh, God. I'm a dad, and I'm worried. Okay, and then our lovely new child was born. It's a boy, and his name name is Max, and there's Max and me, we're holding each other, he, you know, is very athletic, you guys, he's athletic and brave, those were his two traits I gave him when he was born, because I'm like, hey, he can be a superstar athlete, or he can be like a firefighter or something, so, there's Max, he's got a bright future, and daddy's proud, there's Carolina, she's looking pretty good, oh, I got the burps, She's looking pretty good after giving birth to Max. She gave birth to him last night, or two nights ago now, and she's looking pretty thin still, so that, that's good. And here's our new butler. Um, what's her name again? Oh, yeah, Aliza, or whatever. She really likes me for some reason. We're, like, really compatible, so she always is trying to flirt with me and stuff. So it's, it's kind of bad, but, you know, it's working out pretty good. She keeps the house clean and, and keeps food on the table and helps take care of Max. But I forgot to show you guys Julia's traits. So I don't know how this happened. But she ended up getting this um, absent-minded trait. It just it came to her. I like I couldn't get rid of it, and I couldn't swap it out for anything else. It just came to her. So if you don't know what that is, basically it allows the Sims to like wander, like their minds wander. And I don't know. I guess it prevents them from excelling in college and stuff, or it's going to be tougher to excel. But I don't know. She was in the she was on the honor roll in grade school, and she's pretty much on the honor roll now. She's heading towards it. She's like one away. And I know she's going to get there. She's only had like one day of school as a teenager or two days. So we just got to kind of see. I, I know she's going to get an A. She she was an honor roll student through her whole grade school career. So we just got to hope that that absent mind doesn't affect her. Because I do want her one day to move out and go to college and all that good stuff. So, But she's got a long time of being a teenager. What is it? Like, yeah, like 11 or so days. So she's got a long time to do that. She wants to get a part-time job too. But we're going to have her go on her first ever date today. Um, this guy keeps moving in. I keep kicking his ass out. We already kicked you out. Get out of here. Okay, so she just invited a boy over from her school. There he is! There he is, Casey O'Neill. Okay, so she is going to greet Casey. So she's gonna go greet him. They, they've been hanging out at school. They've been friends since grade school, so it should be pretty interesting. Oh, he's excited. He is excited. Okay, so let's see here. So let's, um, hmm, friendly... Let's get to know them a little bit. I, wait, is this guy is this guy an adult? How did she even have him in her contacts? She can't have sex with an adult. That would be uh, that would be bad. That would that'd be like uh, le illegal. I think that's what. Oh, study together. Okay, so he must be a kid. I don't know though. I think he's playing a game, trying to get to my daughter. I gotta watch this guy. I gotta watch this guy. Let's let's <laughs> let's see here. Uh, let's, uh, enthuse about music, because that's something she's really passionate about. Tell a funny story, you know, she's not very funny, but, you know, she'll try. Uh, she'll show some internet cafe videos, you know, girls aren't very interesting. Now, since I'm the dad, I gotta get over here, I have to watch this. So I'm gonna go over here, put down Max, and we're gonna, we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch this guy here. I can't, I gotta get closer. Gotta get, oh, there he is. This guy's just trying to, is he trying to make a move on my daughter? You trying to make a move on my daughter? He's making a move on my daughter. Is that what he's doing? I'm watching him with the eyes on the back of my head. Oh, there I am. I'm staring at you. How dare you do this to me, Julia? I'm your papa. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, oh, Jesus. She is, she is seductive. She is, uh, she is, uh, she's, uh, she's gonna be problems. She's gonna be problems. One of you guys said in the comments last time, like, 16 and pregnant. You better not hope Julia's not in it. Well, you guys, I gotta say, this is not looking promising. Look at her. Look at her. That looks 16 and pregnant to me. <laughs> okay, so let's see how she goes with this guy. Eh, whatever his name is, Casey. It's a, it's a good name. Good name. Strong, strong grades. He looks like he's got good grades. 
So we're going to trust him a little bit with our daughter Julia here. Even though I don't want to, we're going to trust her. Him. <laughs> her. Okay, so let's see. So I don't see that she can be romantic with him. Makes me think he's an adult, but yet study together. That's some weird shit, Casey. I don't know what... Casey, are you trying to move? I'm worried about this guy here, guys. I'm worried about him. I'm going to be watching him. So let's talk about Arch. She's going to... She's trying to make friends. Maybe he's in college. You know, she'll be in college soon. You should date an older guy. She got the body for it. <laughs> My daughter. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything romantic, so... That's not good. Oh, okay, see you, Casey. Wow, what a jerk. He just left Julia to Dane. Go in the house, Julia. He can't be trusted. So she's going to play alone. She's going to just jam. She's got to practice. You know, that's... I bought her a pink guitar. Oh, that's a pink guitar. Okay, so yeah. she She's really good. And she gets really into it, too, guys. Look at this. Look at that face. <laughs> a rock concert brought to you by Julia. She needs a nose job. Maybe just a tiny one. Okay, so let's see. Now, let's go upstairs. We have to see what Max is doing up here. Oh, me and uh, me and the wife are loving. Oh, you guys, we just got the Eternally Faithful badge. Me and Carolina both, because we have never been with any other Sim but each other, really, like, since we started dating. So, that's just amazing. It goes to show you our eternal love. Okay, so let's make sure Max is taken care of. Our butler, I only have one gripe about the butler. So, I have to tell the butler when to make food. And that's kind of annoying. Like, we'll be completely out of food, and I'll be like, Hey, can you can you cook something, please? So let's see if we can find the butler. Oh, the butler. What is the butler doing? Oh, they're raking. <laughs> the butler's raking. The butler's like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the butler's raking. Carolina's been working. Well, she hasn't had to work lately. But she's been working. Wait, Wax. What book does she need to read? Be oh, wax Away. Okay, so that's the book. So she's been working on trying to get a promotion because she's level three. She's been three for a long time. She's been working on her charisma and we're trying to get her promotions because we want her to be at least a level like eight in the career. So we're going to have her read this. I think that's something she needs to do. Well, she could have ate first. Oh, it's almost done being read. Okay. Uh, go to the city government complex bot building skill. Sure. Okay. So let's, uh, she'll eat this now that she read that book. Now we're going to go fix Haywire Janitor. Gotta fix the haywire janitor. <laughs> uh, Julia, she is gonna, you guys, she's gonna be a rock star. I'm not gonna lie. And Max, okay, so my total goal, I'll tell you guys. So my goal is, for me, obviously, I'm already promoted, promoted, promoted all the way through my career. Um, but then I want, you know, Carolina, you know, level five to eight would be good. But if she could get all the way, that would be amazing. I want Julia to be a rock star, obviously. And I don't know when I'm gonna have Julia move out of the house. Probably after... She gets her feet on the ground, you know, becomes a little bit of a rock star. Then she can move out, get her own place. And then Max, my goal for Max is him to be a superstar athlete. And if that doesn't work out, we're going to have him go for either the military or or firefighter career style. So firefighter is a little more work, but I think I think he can handle it. So we're going to have Carolina take care of Max here. He's about to poop himself, so we're going to just play with him a little bit. Oops, snuggle him a little bit. He's going to poop himself soon. Soon. It's only a matter of time until he takes a big deuce in his pants. <laughs> Come on, Max. Take a deucey. Take a deucey, Max. We're watching you. Okay, fine. Don't take, don't take one now. Then. Okay, so we're fixing the Haywire Janitor at City Hall. Oh, you guys. I got something with my lifetime rewards. It's a bot chip bundle. Let's open it. Okay, so what's in here? A musical machine, capacity to love, handy bot. Uh, robot nanny. Oh, these are all good ones. Simulated emotions, sense of humor, and confident cleaner. So we can build our own robot now. We have all these chips. My robot building skill, you guys, is through the roof right now. It's, what is it, like five or six? It, so it's at five heading towards a six. I've been working hard on that robot skill. Let's head back to the house and then switch to my guy and head into our workshop. Since Julia's trying to be a rock star here and she's practicing her guitar all day, we might as well try to hone our craft here. Now, I don't know if I want to create a plum bot right now because I know that they need a power source and it's a really big pain in the ass to keep them alive. So we need like some type. Let's just design a whole bunch of chips. Keep designing them. I don't know where to get components. Um, I'm going to have to like, because I know a lot of stuff to make the chips actually need components. So if you guys know where to get components, tell me in the comment section down below um, for making robots because I, I know I have like the scrap metal and all that, but I don't know where to get components. So I don't know if there's a place you can buy them or you have to find them somewhere. Um, 
Let's go over here. Oh, also tell me what Max should do for his career path. I'm, I'm leaning towards you. Your choices are athlete, military, or firefighter. So those are my, my major choices. Wow, she's been rocking this all day, you guys. What is she now? Is she a five? She is a five. So she's getting good. Soon enough, she could go play guitar, you know, for... Oh, she can earn tips now. Okay, so she can. So we're going to have her do that maybe tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Uh, sure, you can talk to Carolina August. Okay, the butler's taking care of the baby. See, this is why it's good to have a butler. You know, you're busy doing all this kind of stuff. You know, like making robots, you know, doing futuristic magic. You know, someone can take care of the kid once in a while. Look at all these chip designs. Okay, there we go. So we could... I want to create a plumb bot because I do want to use these. But I just don't... See, they're worth money too. But I just don't want to... I just don't want to have another thing to take care of, you know, because now we have two kids. Maybe when one of the kids move out, what do you guys think, you know? Another thing to tell me. You know, should we go for a robot and make one or or just kind of wait till the kids move out? Because, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards the kids moving out. Let's go take... Oh, she's feeding them. Okay. Wow, she is very helpful in these situations. Okay, so let's... Oh, <laughs> we're going to go listen to Julia play the guitar. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock, Julia. It is definitely time for you to quit playing the guitar. It's really late. It's almost 11. We're going to have you eat some pancakes. Go up here. We're going to have her take a giant poopy before she goes to bed. I try to keep Julia on a good schedule. Even though it's the weekend, you know, like midnight, she should be asleep on the weekend. And I try to keep myself on a similar schedule. <laughs> I'm a baby. Okay, so let's go to sleep. Because it's 11-11. Make a wish. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Sims 3. Julia is going to be a rock star. Next episode, most likely, Max will be a you know, a child or a teenager. So what what should we be doing with these guys? Should they get part-time jobs? Should they support the family? What should they do? Uh, leave a comment. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate all the likes we've been getting. And until next time, we're going to take it easy. Live it squeezy.